Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fultron Plays Bioshock Infinite. Oh snap, there things are happening. Firstly, looks like it's heading for the dock. That will take us to Paris. Hmm. Yes, it will. Stealing may have yes, consequences. Mr. Call me Booker. Oh, uh, all right, Booker. How do you enjoy? All right. Should we head to the gondola or take a look around the boardwalk? Definitely going to take a, a look like around. This might have much we find useful. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we can. Our ice cold Colombian ice cream is a culinary marvel. <laughs> Try it yourself. Oh. Okay, I, I'm just browsing. Thanks. Let's, uh, let's check out what Mr. Comstock has to say for himself. And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Columbia. But it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to righteousness. Do you know why you were hired to come and get me? I imagine they were interested in meeting hey, you. I'm trying to listen. No doubt for lockpicking lessons. Why you? I never even heard of this place before I got here. Huh. I assumed Columbia was common knowledge below. Guess I got a bit behind with current events. Accept no low-quality foreign-made substitutes. Okay, let's come out here. Let's try this again with the Comstock thing. And when I came to Washington, there were few in Congress who saw my vision for Columbia. But it is the burden of the prophet to bring the wicked to righteousness. For what am I? If not a mirror to reflect the face of God. Man, that guy has some egotistical tendencies. Uh, okay, so I'm really tempted to steal here. But if I do, people are going to start shooting at me. I'll do it for you guys. Hey, I worked hard for that! Sorry. Don't worry about it. He's fine. He's fine. Everybody calm down. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. You don't need to worry about it. Who? Where? What? Where? I hear people. Oh, there you are. Hi, guys. No, I was complete misunderstanding. Reload. Anybody else? Where you at, bro? Who? Like, you're not. You gotta show yourself. So I at least know who I'm talking to. Alright, there we go. So when you hear that little, like, violin thing, that means you're done. Okay, well, I don't know if that was worth it, but, uh... An apple, okay. Uh, I need to switch weapons here. I definitely do not have enough ammo for that. And everybody's gone. They just up and left. Alright. Is there anything else in here? Okay. Well, if you guys uh, watched the last episode, you know we talked a little bit about Twitch and a little bit about streaming. Um, I'm not going to talk about that this uh, this episode. Um, I think we've exhausted that information. Uh, but I do want to let you guys know that this Saturday we will be streaming um, on Twitch. So, Mr. No, not Twist, on Twitch. <laughs> on Beam. We'll be streaming on Beam she this Saturday at 1 o'clock. Giving birth. And, uh... You have a child? No. This is, this is important. So he said that his wife died giving birth. She said, oh, you have a child? And he said, no. Okay, so we've got some discrepancies, if you will. But anyways, uh, this Saturday, uh, we're gonna stream... Duke and Dimwit! Yes. Yes. Remember, boys and girls, don't be a Dimwit! How could you not know that? Must be something particular to Columbia. Oh, I loved those stories when I was a kid. But okay. They are. They are 
a bit off-putting. They're a bit off-putting, you're right. Um, but this Saturday, I'm going to be streaming at 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, on beam.pro slash Fultron, uh, which is not the norm. Normally, I'd be streaming on a Wednesday, but we're doing some Saturday streams for a little while. Uh, just to let the UKers have a chance. Whee! I'm on a horse! I'm on a, I'm on a carousel! Get me off! There we go. Um, I feel like I'm going in circles and I haven't gone anywhere. There's a little grease, grease there on the ground. Um, so yeah, if you guys can uh, hang out, if you have, you have the time, you're not doing anything Saturday, come hang out with us. It's a, it's a lot of fun. We do some Minecraft and then we play some Hypixel together, normally. Looks like this runs exclusively on Shock Jockey. Exclusively. Where in the hell are we gonna find that? Look, come see the future of power at the Hall of Heroes. Hmm. Uh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> Gentlemen, the false shepherd is loose in the streets of our fair city. Will no. you suffer the shame of allowing your wives and your daughters to fall prey to his machinations? Or will you act? Act for your women folk. Act for your prophet. Seems like we're fairly well healed, Mr. DeWitt. Hey, look, uh, a boom thingy. Pick up the heater replica. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try it out. It's uh, it's got two in the chamber. Okay, so there's a thing. I don't know what that is. Is there anything over here for me? Anything that you want to give me? Anything at all? No? Okay. All right. Let me just say, you guys are, are really awesome with your support on the series. Um, I know this is, this is an old game, but you guys are still like way into it, man. I love it. Um, thank you for that. It's really awesome. There's another store we can check out. Hmm. What? Usually when she Look says that. This. What? Usually when she says that, there's like a lockpick. Or something. Elizabeth, where? Where were you pointing? Elizabeth, talk to me. Was she just pointing at the book? And I'm not concerned with the book. There's a box phone. Let's check it out. When I was a girl, I dreamt of standing in a room looking at a girl who was and was not myself, who stood looking at another girl, who also was and was not myself. My mother took this for a nightmare. I saw it as the beginning of a career in physics. Interesting. Sounds to me like a little bit of a trans-dimensional uh, transportation travel, if you will. Hmm. What's over here? Are these... Is there anything in here? So this must be a shotgun. I don't know if I want a shotgun. Okay, we've already been here. So let's head back this way. See what we have. That's where we just went in. What's up, dude? Don't make Hi. That made you catch on fire. Oh, this thing. This thing's legit. Have that. Oh. Here we go. Whew, almost died. I'll take your money. Thank you. No, nothing. Got some ammo, that's good. Let's head back up here and just make sure we didn't miss anything. Now this... So that's where we came from, that's the ice cream shop. Okay, so we want to go down this way. 
And we've got the Hall of Heroes is right here. Uh, let's see what Dollar Dollar Bill y'all has for us. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Uh, shotgun ammo. Yes. Purchase. Full. Done. Good. Let's keep moving. You hold um, on to this. Okay. See, okay, now take, take a note, game developers. This is how you do uh, a non playable character. Um, Elizabeth is amazing because she takes care of herself. You never have to protect her, ever, in the entire game. There's never once where you have to escort How her and make sure she doesn't die. Until further notice. Then there won't be a line to get in. Um, and she just does what she does, and she doesn't ever complain about it. And then, on top of that, she'll just show up randomly and be like, Here, here's some money, or here's some, here's some ammo, or here's some health. She just hands it to you. So, and it's always right when you need it, too. I only have 900. Dang it! All right, let's uh, let's head on up. Let's see here. Push. Um. So yeah, that's what's amazing about her. What the hell? Huh? Is something wrong? Uh, nothing I can't fix. Sing praise to the songbird. What? I gotta ah. get this thing moving again. Okay. Now I legitimately do not remember this. So this should be interesting. Oh, it's a bee. I, I hate these things. Jeez, oh, just kill it. No, it'll sting me. Elizabeth. I have a better idea. Wait, wh what are you doing? Opening air. Oh shit! What? Whoa! Is that? It's a tear. I used to open them all the time in my tower. What is a tear? It's like a, a... a window. A window to another world. Most of the time their doll is dishwater, a different colored towel or tea instead of coffee. But sometimes... sometimes I see something amazing and I pull it through. There. Good God. Huh. I don't suppose you've got an airship in there? I don't think so. But there is. Uh oh. There, there is something. I... <sighs> oh no! Close it. I, I'm trying! Close it! <sighs> I don't really understand what I just saw back there. But it sure as hell looks like a shortcut to getting us killed. But Think I can straight. Help. I can handle whatever comes along. Trust me. Have it your way, I suppose. I will have it my way. He's like freaking Burger King, man. I will have it my way. Thank you. Okay, let's head on in here, huh? Elizabeth? Keep a lookout. Hook it up. Ready. George Washington. Man, I need some health bad. What? what? Oh. Okay. New pants, last man standing. When very low on health, killing an enemy gives health. Oh. Bull rush, melee targets are knocked back. I'm going to equip this gear. Oh, thank you very much. Eat a banana for some health. Got a voxophone. I served two score years of soldiering. And every heathen land I've known has less people my passing. I hated no special enemy. Until now. Comstock. He's made a vaudeville travesty of my battles and cast himself as the White Knight. I called him out over it and he stripped me of my rank. That man has never seen the savage face of war. Dang, we can't, uh, we can't get into this one, unfortunately. We don't have enough lockpicks. I feel like I've been keeping my eyes peeled, though. I'm trying to find them. They're so dang hard to find. Just lay on the ground. 
usually. Hmm. Um. Okay, wait, wait. She's looking at something. Sometimes when she says that, like when she looks at something, it means something. Like she'll be like, "Hey, there's a lockpick over there." Or sometimes she'll just be like, "Hey, what is that?" And then you can look, and there's stuff there. And then sometimes she gets all curious, and then she's just staring at the ground. You know, it's like, what? What's your deal? And when we strike, huh? we will teach Cornelius Slate a lesson. Now, I know you've all come to think that Slate is some kind of war hero. Oh, that'll do. Uh-huh. Get wrecked. Whoops. Reload. Uh. Die. Thank you. Okay, crow guy. Crow guy. We don't look so good. Catch hell, thank you. See what I mean? Get out of my life, get out of my life. Ouch. Where is he? Okay, feel free to do that, you know, now. Why are you going? Come on. Where are you? Come on. Why won't he, uh... He's, like, glitching out. Okay, he's done. Now. Uh... Ouch. Ouch. Okay, he's done. Let's get over here. Oh. Okay, I am officially out of ammo there. Huh. Second thought. I think those tears of yours might come in handy next time we're in a scrape. Well, uh, five. That's not enough. Um, wait, there was still a thing here, wasn't there? Yes. Reload. Man, I need a lot more ammo than this. Hi. Pick up shotgun. Don't want that. <laughs> Elizabeth, you out there? You doing okay? Okay. Oh, did I for real just do that? I don't know if that did anything. Woo! Okay. Um, now, I do know of a secret on this section of the island. I know for sure. Um, Need money? Yes. Take it. Always. Thank you. Got it. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so I know there's a thing here. Oh, it's a code book for a cipher. A secret message from the Vox Populi. Secret codes? The cipher should be around somewhere. Elizabeth can decrypt ciphers that hide secret Vox Populi compartments, find the cipher and its corresponding code book to uncover hidden treasure. All right, so somewhere around here is a place to, uh, Look at this. My tower. Huh? It's only fair they give me a cut of the profits, don't you think? Yeah, I'd say. Um requires 3 and we have 3. Hmm. Is it worth hmm. it? Um anyways, I think we're going to end the episode here. We're going to see if we can figure out this cipher thing in the next episode and then just keep on going. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time on Fultron Plays Bioshock Infinite.
Fultron out.